Welcome to Statics. Example, sliding block system. In this example, we have two blocks, one on a horizontal plane and one on a plane inclined at 60 degrees. They are connected by a cable across a pulley. The coefficient of static friction between the blocks and the supporting surfaces is 0 0.25. We want to find the force P, which causes impending motion of the system to the left. The first step is to draw free body diagrams. A free body diagram of the full system will not be useful here. Instead, we will draw separate diagrams for both blocks. For block A, I show the self-weight acting downward, the applied force P, and the unknown tension force in the cable. I also show the normal force perpendicular to the support. I also need to include the friction force. Since the problem statement says that we want to find a condition of impending motion to the left, then the friction force will be acting to the right to resist the motion. For block B, I show the self-weight acting downward. The tension force in the cable, which will be the same magnitude as the tension force on block A due to the pulley. I show the normal force perpendicular to the supporting surface. Again, I need to consider the direction of the friction force. For the impending motion condition, block B will be on the verge of moving up the incline. So I show the friction force pointing down the incline. Looking back at block A, we have four unknowns. We have two equilibrium equations, some forces x and some forces y. We won't try to some moments because we are analyzing this block as a particle. However, due to the impending motion condition, we know that the friction force at point A is equal to the coefficient of static friction times the normal force. So we have a total of three equations, not enough to solve for all the unknowns. Let's look at block B. I will use a rotated coordinate system when analyzing block B to simplify my equilibrium equations. We have three unknowns at block B. We can solve for all three by summing forces in the x prime and y prime directions and by incorporating the static friction equation. With t known, the number of unknowns on block A reduces to 3, and we can find them the same way. So we will start with block B. I sum forces to 0 in the y prime direction to get normal force B. It is 100 pounds in the positive y prime direction. I can now use the static friction equation to get the friction force on block B. It is the coefficient of static friction. 0 0.25 times 100 pounds, so 25 pounds acting in the positive x prime direction. Note that this equation will always give me a positive value, so I have to get the direction correct on my free body diagram. Now I sum forces in the x prime direction to solve for the remaining unknown, the tension in the cable. I find that it is 198.2 pounds acting in the negative x prime direction. Now I move to block A and transfer over the cable force. I will sum forces in the y direction to get the normal force. It is 150 pounds acting upward. I use the static friction force equation to calculate the friction force magnitude. It is 37.5 pounds, acting to the right according to my free body diagram. Last, I sum forces in the x direction to get the applied force P. It is 235.7 pounds, acting to the left, and my problem is complete.